Number four, Santa Clara taking on seventh ranked UCLA. And you want to talk about great passes? Maria Sanchez, perfect placement for Julie Doyle, who heads it between the legs of the Bruins goalie. Beautiful shot, though the Broncos end up on the short end. Some great footwork at number three, courtesy of Santa Clara's Miles Robinson. He puts his defender on skates, threads a pass to Carlos Delgadillo, who finishes off the play. Pretty moves all around from the Broncos. At number two, one of the biggest upsets in Santa Clara volleyball history went down on Friday. Look at the effort from Chloe Loreen, Kirsten Mead, and company as the Broncos beat ninth-ranked Kansas, the first unranked team to beat the Jayhawks since 2014. Let's go to number three, Santa Clara hosting UC Irvine. Tie game in the 83rd minute. Gudrun Arnerdoter finds Kelly Pay, who has eyes on the back of her head. What a shot from the senior. That was the difference as the Broncos pick up the W. And kudos to you if you've ever seen this in a volleyball match. Coming in at number one, Jensen Cunningham uses the tape to perfection as the ball skates all the way across the net and drops down for a Bronco kill. Portland would eventually go on to win the match in five sets, but what a play to land Cunningham atop this week's Top Play Tuesday. To number five. Santa Clara men's soccer looking to put the match away late versus St. Mary's at home. Javier Ruiz Duran fires the first shot but denied by the keeper. Followed up by Carlos Delgado de Yo, denied, but third time's the charm for Delgado de Yo as he puts the match away for Santa Clara in the win. At number four, we head to Santa Clara Volleyball. With a bit of back and forth action, the Broncos receive a pair of one-handed digs from Tessie Powers and Chloe Loren to stay alive. Jensen Cunningham finishes off the point with the block. And taking over this week's number one spot, Santa Clara men's soccer exemplifying the beautiful game with some one-touch passing. Nate Chu to Miles Robinson, back to Chu with the one-time hit and the game's first goal. Number three to Santa Clara hosting San Diego in the 19th minute no score. When freshman of the year, Kelsey Turnbow receives the ball in the box and one touch turns and scores her 12th goal of the year. The Broncos eventually go on to win and finish the season NCAA tournament bound with their first round game at Cal on Saturday. Number three, Santa Clara Volleyball at home versus Pepperdine, fourth set. And take a look at how much ground Tessie Powers covers here. She comes up with a dig, keeps the ball alive, and the Broncos go on to win the point and the match. Number five, Santa Clara beating up on Northern Arizona. The shot clock winding down. KJ Fagan throws one up at the buzzer and banks in the three. He led the way with 16 points as the Broncos won by 32. To number five, the Broncos could use a lift and KJ Fagan does just that. Fagan goes up and around for the bucket, though Santa Clara falls at home. In the three spots, Santa Clara hosting St. Mary's. How's this for hustle? Look at the corner where Sharice Holloway saves it over her head, right to Morgan McGuire, who nails the jumper. The Gales overpower the Broncos, though. Number four, this is a double whammy from Santa Clara's Henry Caruso. First against rival USF, stuffing Suli Boom. And two days later against the Zags, Rui Hachimura gets denied. Some great defense from the grad transfer. Number three, rivals facing off in the Bay. San Francisco's Matt McCarthy goes up for what looks like a sure thing, but Bronco Jarvis Pugh says not today. Santa Clara dropped this one at home. To number five, Santa Clara at Portland. Emmanuel Dumaya fakes a handoff to KJ Fagan, who creates an open lane for the dunk. Broncos win on the road. And coming in at number one, bottom seven, bases loaded for Santa Clara's Jake Broach. He sends that one flying for the lead. Same inning, same bases loaded, same Jake Bro. The senior hits two grand slams in one inning, just the seventh D1 player all time to accomplish the feat. Part of a 14-run seventh for the Broncos in the win. Number three, Santa Clara baseball is taking over TPT. The Broncos hosting Wake Forest. Into the bottom of the 14th inning, Joe Becht mashes one to the wall. That brings in the winning run and clinches the series for the Broncos. And the number one play this week, top three St. Mary's at the plate, ball hit to right, Matt Smithwick running over, lays out and makes the catch. An impressive play by the Bronco, though SC eventually fell. To number five, Santa Clara Sebastian Matthew makes it a senior weekend to remember. The lone senior delivered match points against BYU and San Diego Sunday to continue his perfect 6-0 record in singles this season. 
Coming in at number one, Santa Clara vs. Pacific sophomore pitcher Aubrey Kim throws the fourth no-hitter in Santa Clara program history. Kim is the first Bronco since 2004 to complete a no-no, which she did in the win over the Tigers. At number four, bouncer up the middle, Santa Clara's Jason DiCochea makes a diving stop, flips the ball to second with his glove, and the 6-4-3 double play is completed. Broncos win and take the series. Number three, Santa Clara softball hosting St. Mary's. Check out the glove on Ellie Fisher in center. Nice grab by the senior on senior day. The Broncos took two out of three from the Gales to finish the season. Back to Friday Night Baseball for number two, Santa Clara trying to close out LMU in a bit of a jam though. Matt Smithwick puts an end to that, the diving catch to seal the win. The Broncos sweep the series to keep their playoff chances alive. This week's runner-up, how many times has Matt Smithwick been on TPT this year? Well, he keeps making plays like this. What a grab and foul territory. Broncos fall to the Zags in this game, though. Number two, everyone knows Jared Brownridge is good for a game winner on any given day, and Saturday was one of those days. Brownridge! These are my guys. These are the guys I've been with the last four years. What was that feeling like for you? I mean, it's almost like you're playing, like, it kind of, it kind of seems so simple, but in the fall, I mean, in the fall, you're playing just kind of more casually with all, all the guys on the team, but seeing in a real game, big must-win game like today, seeing guys like Tony Jeremy again, too, it's another guy just stepping up, 